Welcome friends, great to have you sharing in this morning devotion. We're talking about the wilderness and how God in so many instances took the people of the Old Testament and also the New into the wilderness. Uh, we, we have a very romantic view of the wilderness. Uh, I look at some place like the Richtersfeld or some of the Namibian deserts. I mean, powerful. You look at these images and you say, wow, what an incredible thing it must have been to, to be there. Well, well, John the Baptist lived there and that must have been a different kettle of fish. Jesus went out into the desert for 40 days and he didn't eat anything. Uh, and then suddenly the desert is not such a romantic place. It's a place of sheer survival, hanging in there. Now, one guy who went out into the desert and he was there for 40 years was Moses. Remember, he killed a man. He was this young prince of Egypt, born of Hebrew parents. And he was discovered to be a murderer and he fled. And where did he go? He went to the desert of Midian. And for 40 years, 40 years, he kind of got to know the way of the desert. He got to know God. He got to listen to God's voice because there came that, that famous day when he was minding the flocks of his father-in-law uh, Jeth Jethro when suddenly he saw a bush catching a flame, catching a light. And, and he went over to have a look. And then there was the voice that spoke out of the bush. Moses, Moses, don't come any nearer. Take your shoes off, your sandals off, because the ground on which you're standing is holy. Now, I wonder if Moses would have heard that voice if he hadn't been already attuned into the silence of the desert, that he had been so attuned to listening to that voice from beyond, that when the voice spoke, he recognized it. The desert after the luxuries of Egypt and the royal household of Pharaoh, the desert was a place of preparation, it was a tough place, but it was also a place of revelation as well. So don't be afraid of silence. Don't be afraid to go apart and seek to listen and to discern what God may be saying to you. Wilderness is a rough place to learn the lessons that God has for us. But don't be afraid of the wilderness. Don't be afraid of those times in your lives that we call wilderness experiences, when it seems very alone, when it seems very empty, because those are often the times when God chooses to speak to you and you learn things which otherwise you may not have learned amidst the comfort of our daily living. A thought for the day. God be with you.